the station working for you. This is WRTV News at 11, streaming now. And now at 11, a little more than two weeks until Election Day, and Hoosiers are still turning out to vote early in record numbers. People from across the state don't seem to mind standing in long lines for hours to make their voices heard at the polls. New this year in Marion County, voters may be tapping their toes while they wait. WRTV's Cameron Riddle shows you how professionals struggling to make ends meet during the pandemic are finding a new audience among early voters. When you go vote early in Marion County, the wait times can be long. But in the shadow of the city county building is musical relief and live entertainment. Because I have nothing to live for. Looks the venues like that we normally go. sing at, like the Jazz Kitchen, the Chatterbox, we don't know when they're going to open. We, we don't know when we're going to have the opportunity to do that. So the fact that there are other ways for us to be able to do it, it's going to be fantastic. Goldie Taylor is one of 85 Indianapolis-based performers hosting 100 free live shows to an audience of early voters. My lips, my eyes, I'm loving what I see. I'm not the average girl on your video. Thanks to the pandemic, the show in Luger Plaza is the first paying gig many of the singers, musicians, and bands have had in months. This is all I do for a living, so it's barely making ends meet. Everybody knows musicians are starving musicians. This opportunity, it doesn't matter what it pays, it's just the fact that we're able to get out and do something, especially when the community is, they're out here and they can tell that, um, we can tell that the music is soothing them. Karen Haley is the executive director of the Indianapolis Cultural Trail, which runs through Luger Plaza. She came up with the idea of live music after seeing the long lines to vote. I think everyone was, you know, very pleasantly surprised with how many people were coming out to vote early and the line in Luger Plaza just kept getting longer and longer and longer. The live music here in Luger Plaza is not something you normally see here in Indianapolis. I voted this past Friday and spent 90 minutes standing here in line. That's when I first saw Goldie. Her music made all the difference. I've been talking about Friday since I finished Friday. Um, I went home, I was cheering to my sister. I was like, you just don't understand, it was so wonderful. Cameron Riddle, WRTV. <laughs> And artists of all genres are performing every day of early voting. The Cultural Trail has a lineup of performers posted online. In the first 14 days, more than 21,000 Hoosiers have voted early in Marion County. And more, more early voting sites are opening this week across Indiana. If you want to vote by mail, the deadline to request an absentee ballot is this Thursday. But you are encouraged to make your request as soon as possible. Election officials must receive your completed ballot by noon on Election Day. If you don't think you have enough time to return by mail, you can drop off your ballot in person.